Hello guys, Terry here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about the Apple Watch Series 10. I already did a video where I covered the whole Apple event, all the updates with the AirPods, with the Apple Watch and with the iPhone. But today we're gonna dive down into the Apple Watch Series 10. We're gonna see how the Apple Watch started, compare it to the previous generation aka the Series 9 and see from which Apple Watch you should start upgrading. Of course, if you have up to the fifth generation, I still think it's a very good time for you to upgrade because so many new things have been added, not only to the software updates, but to the improvement of this Apple Watch. And also to see, is it worth it spending your money on this device? Or maybe you should get a smartwatch a little bit cheaper from another brand. First, I will say that I have noticed that for the past few years, Apple keeps pushing their devices and making them more into health devices. For example, one of the things that they did with the AirPods, now you can do a hearing test to see how much you can hear. Basically, there will be sounds playing in your AirPods and you have to tap when you hear them. With the Apple Watch, they added this sleep apnea. Basically, many people don't even know that they have it. And this is a condition where you stop breathing for a while while you sleep and then you stop breathing again. We don't even realize what we're doing when we're sleeping. We don't know. So basically, if you sleep with your Apple Watch, it will detect if you have sleep apnea or not when it's moderate or severe. So basically, if you have a little bit like indications, probably you won't detect it. But the fact that the smartwatch can do this and the fact that they keep making it more up to a health device, not only like a step tracker or a working out device, is showing how much Apple is paying attention to the health of the people. Not only like, just buy this because it's an Apple Watch and it works best with your iPhone and other Apple devices. So it's, how to say, it is good that they started pushing more into the health direction. One of the first and more noticeable things when it comes to the Apple Watch is that it has the biggest watch face ever on an Apple Watch in this series. Of course, the Apple Watch Ultra has the biggest watch face of 49 millimeters, but this one has 42 and 46 millimeter. You can use up to aluminum and titanium case. It has OLED always on display, wide angle OLED, up to 2000 nits peak brightness, which is good, especially if you're running, hiking, walking, or any workout outside this might be very useful against the sun. It has up to 40% brighter viewed at a certain echo. It supports the ECG app. It can detect your sleep and sleep apnea, as I already said. And also it can charge super quickly up to 80% in 30 minutes. Let's say that you sleep with your Apple Watch, you woke up and crap, I didn't charge it. So basically while you're getting ready, while you're having breakfast, it can charge up to 80% already compared to its predecessor where you can get from zero to 80 up to 45 minutes. So if you're on the go, the battery life is also crucial. It's up to 18 hours of battery and 36 hours on a low powder mode. So technically, if you don't use it much, you might survive almost two days with one single charge of this Apple Watch. Other features that Apple will bring with this Apple Watch Series 10 is the Smart Stock. These are all the widgets that you can add right when you need them on the front screen. Another thing is that a photo booth, you can now choose the best pictures that you have and put them on your lock screen and the translate app is coming right on your wrist so all you have to do is use your voice or you can type and you will translate it automatically to you of course for me i would like if they can add a bit more languages because yes they have a good variety of languages but personally i would like if they could add a bit more maybe even my native language or at least a bit of variety but the fact that they're Keeping these upgrades coming, of course, I believe that it won't be launched immediately with Apple Intelligence, but the fact that we have so many possibilities now and that the Apple Watch slowly starts turning into an iPhone is a great thing that when you don't need to pull up your phone and you can just look at something at your rest. Other great features that Apple has updated with this Apple Watch is for all the people that work out every day. It also like motivates you to go for a walk, go to the gym, go for a run. Even for the people who are near water now, the depth app automatically launches when you're in water or around the water. Also for people who like to use canoes, it will give you a roadmap where you should pass. So yes, I have an app 
for workouts on my phone but i'm starting to think that maybe this apple watch will kind of keep the motivation that i currently have because let's be honest my motivation lasts for a few weeks maybe two to three months and then it just dies down so hopefully if i decide to get one literally the motivation will keep going on at least to complete the daily steps that i have to do some custom workouts yes i believe that i can compare like the apple watch with the current app that i have of course to pick up some new exercises that i haven't done so far to try it so basically i will say that the apple watch is not only like invented the workouts but it also keeps the motivation to keep doing the same to see your results to track them and see oh my gosh i started with this much weight or i was like at this stage now after doing workout I just feel better like i have more energy so basically an apple watch can help you in any activity you want to do let's compare the very first apple watch with the Corolla to see how much it has evolved of course the watch face is smaller use the s1 chip after all it was the very first apple watch you didn't have the sos emergency contacts even you can use this on the apple watch via satellite also it was only splash resistant not water resistant it can detect your sleep neither sleep apnea because it won't be coming on the series one i don't think someone is using series one anymore but you can keep it for the memories if you had one oh the only thing they have kept the same is yes it's up to 18 hours of battery life it's does not include fast charging and the peak brightness was only 450 nits which in the current conditions in the time that we're living in now 10 years later i will say this is definitely not enough of course it still works like a regular apple watch it will support all your activities you want to take heart rate the ecg app is also not available so these are the major cuts that like difference and how apple watch kept evolving with time and the fact that we started from the first and now we're already at series 10 shows why apple keeps improving their apple watch there are people who are buying it testing it loving it of course there will be haters and i have to say that the apple watch works the best when it's paired to an iphone or any other apple device but i have to say apple has a reason to keep upgrading these devices because there are people who will buy it no matter what they do the differences between the Apple Watch Series 10 and Series 9 are not that big compared to that it's just one generation differences. So the watch face was still smaller, 41 to 45 millimeters. We have stainless steel instead of titanium and aluminium. Also, the depth guide now it's up to 6 meters and we have water temperature sensor, which we did not have in the series 9 also we have the 40 percent brighter at uh, view angle and white oval display which we didn't have in the series 9 and the faster charger now you can get up to 80 percent in 30 minutes not in 45 so if you compare it and you wonder should you get the 10 or should you keep series 9 i will say that maybe there is no need to upgrade from series 9 but the question is from which apple watch should you upgrade and to which should you keep the Series 9 or Series 10 because it's the newest Apple Watch that they have? From which Apple Watch series you should upgrade and to which you should stick Series 9 or Series 10? First of all, I'll say that I don't think anyone has Apple Watch Series 1, 2 or 3 anymore. So they won't even make an appearance. But I will say, personally, I believe that if you have an Apple Watch Series 7, 6 or an older maybe it's time for you to upgrade because the apple watch have changed so much even apple made the references comparing the apple watch series 6 screen to the new apple watch series 10 this is where you will feel the screen and the thinnest apple watch ever but i will say should you upgrade to apple watch 10 it really depends on like if you want to have the best of the best apple watch or if you just want an apple watch that will work the best for you so as you saw like the differences between the apple watch series 9 and 10 they're not that crucial as they are compared to the Series 8, Series 7, or even a lower model, how we did with the very first one. So to which Apple Watch should you upgrade? I will say Series 9 will do you a great job because all the Apple will tell us features that will be on the Apple Watch 10. I'm very positive that they will come to the Apple Watch Series 9 as well, so you won't lose any of this. So it's your preference if you want the best of the best, the Apple Watch Series 10 or Series 9. Of course, if you want to go all out, you can go with the Apple Watch Ultra 2. They did not upgrade it this year, which probably means they will do it next year. But I will say 
like yes if you have a series 7 series 6 maybe for you it's time to upgrade Okay guys, that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have an Apple Watch, what it is, it is and do you plan to upgrade also to which one? I already said my opinion, where should you upgrade, from which series to which, of course it's your preference, this is like an opinion, like upgrade to which one, what I'm still considering should I get my very first Apple Watch or not, like I'm not a person who wears watches in general and also I don't want to get it because Oh, it will track my steps and stuff like this. I do have a whole phone that does exactly the same job. And yes, I bring my phone everywhere with me. I just never go out with it. So pretty much if it's only for step tracking, I don't think it's valid for me to get a whole Apple Watch for one single thing that my phone can do. Yes, I do work out from my phone again. So pretty much I, I maybe I should say that I use my phone more than any other device. But the Apple Watch is still a thing that makes me question. Is it now the time to get it? Like, last year was okay, I don't need it, I survived a whole year without an Apple Watch. Did it make any difference in my life? No. But more and more decided to think that maybe now it's the time for me to get it. But that was the video, hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button, if you like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!